Hello, welcome to my uh, TVR T350C, as you can see, it's a pretty nice little sports car, it's got brown leather seats, and this surrounds brown leather, this bit around here is brown, and then uh, these darker bits are navy blue. So it used to be like a pale blue colour, but the guy, um, previous owner, dyed it this sort of brown colour, I guess the navy blue, uh, which you can, or the lighter blue which you can see back there in the boot, uh, that fades on the leather, and it looks uh, pretty bad, so he changed it back to uh, this brown colour. You can see it's a five speed manual. This is all aluminium by the way, not plastic, so pretty much all of your touch points are uh, metal. It's the dials for the air conditioning and the fan speed there. These buttons are for the windows, this one here, that one there is to open the door. You can see the TVR steering wheel there little bit dusty and there's space to put your phone in there but it does get pretty warm in there so uh, yeah if you're using your phone as a sat nav it gets pretty warm it's got this head unit in as well it doesn't do anything apart from play radio so it's not very good anyway let's get out and uh, have a walk around the car oh yeah this one didn't come with some visors either because it's an O2 so it's got these kind of ghetto aftermarket sun visors you can see there it's just literally like a, a door hinge painted dark blue with a bolt and then this piece of uh, fabric and the top of the windscreen is tinted a little bit as well so we'll get out and have a walk around so as you can see it's 52 plate and it has got the uh, I think it's Powers Performance Sports Exhaust on, so you can see in there. It's quite a lot lighter than the standard system, I believe. This is from the back. Standing far back enough. That's from the side. I really like the side profile of this car. Looks great, in my opinion. Obviously, that's why I don't have bought it. quite a few bugs on it at the minute, <laughs> you can see down there, Union Jack TVR badge, you can also see we have the TVR Toyo Proxy tyres as well, so they've got the little TVR logo on them there, but they're not very grippy unfortunately, so I'm going to get some uh, good years, I've got those on order, so hopefully uh, they'll come soon. On this side here, obviously no door handles, some greasy fingerprints there, I have to clean those off. Fuel goes in that little hole there, when it's open obviously. So yeah, there we go. So I've just fired it up and you can see there's a little LCD display down there with various different menus giving you various different bits of information. You can see it's still nice and warm and it just scrolls around. I normally keep it on that view. So you can see how many miles I've done since I've got it. And uh, yeah, it's nice and warm. I'll go for a bit of a drive now and uh, see how she goes. So I've just left her running. You can hear how the engine sounds at the front. Not very tappy. Very smooth. 
on a different road now. View from here. You can see this is Northmore Road. Nice bug there. So, the oil temperature and pressure and all that are good. Give you a bit of a rev so you can hear how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. You can see the oil pressure is really strong as well. So yeah, I'm going to go for a drive now. Fortunately I've got no way of uh, putting the camera in the window. Really, I want to put it there, uh, which is like right in front of me. But unfortunately I've got nowhere to mount it, which is a bit of a pain. Um, the dashboard is kind of curved and the phone slips off if I uh, basically move, so that's a bit of a shame. So anyway, that'll be it for this one. Go back to my preferred menu. Goodbye. <laughs>